I would say my journey started about three years ago here, Mississippi, my hometown. I lived here with my parents and my beautiful dog, Peanut. Damn, I haven't seen Peanut in so long. Fuck, man, I miss Peanut. Fast forward one year, I started working my fifth job, full moon. And I'm not gonna lie to you, at this point, this was the lowest point in my life. Every single day for two years straight, worked, went to the gym, and went back home, and that's it. But hey, at least I hit 225 for the first time. So it wasn't all of this. Okay, okay. But all during right. this time, I decided I was finally gonna save up and start chasing my dreams. But nothing could have prepared me for the amount of trauma and turmoil that I would have to go through for moving to Miami. At this point in my life, I barely had enough food. I had no privacy. I was sleeping in my car. Not only was the sleep bad and just no food or any privacy, it was just all around just embarrassing. You know, waking up and having to brush my teeth and seeing people look at me with side eyes, that was just the most embarrassing point I've ever had to go through. Eventually, things finally started getting better. I finally moved into my first apartment. I started traveling around the city and seeing new views and vistas and just experiencing Miami for what it truly is and not what people make it. I met new people. And of course, being in Miami, I met, well, interesting people. You don't believe me, he's in the middle of the road throwing ass. She better throw ass with him, stop. I took a couple more risks and decided to get my first tattoo. And I gotta say, honestly, it came out way better than I could have ever expected. I mean, look at this, this shit is fire. Now fast forward yeah, one more year, after going through so Bro, much, we are now here in downtown Miami. Now, no lie guys, it was literally a dream of mine three years ago to be standing right here in this exact spot, literally. My dream was to move to Miami, be on like the top floor. I mean, literally this building here, this is the top of the building. I'm pretty much on the top floor. Live here downtown Miami with my best friend. And the fact that I'm doing that right now, it's just, literally, it's just insane to me. Um, sometimes I don't even like realize it. Like, there's times I have to remind myself like when I'm like down on myself because I feel like I'm not doing enough or I don't know, I'm underperforming in some way. I have to remind myself that no, like literally three years ago, I would have literally like, like literally, look where I'm at. I would have, my three, like my what, 20 year olds, 18, 19, 20 year old self, would literally be in tears right now seeing like how far I came in such a short period of time so honestly none of this would have been possible actually it could have been possible but I would have never done any of these things uh, that I've accomplished I would say without doing YouTube and that's so many things I love about Miami you know one thing there's always new infrastructure being built I mean look at that you got guys there building these guys here are painting over there you got guys building this tower and literally every day is just a new building being made, which for some people, that might think that's a bad thing, you know, bad for the environment, and I get it. But for people like me that like to be social and be around a lot of people, having like such, like so many buildings being built around me constantly really makes me feel like, it makes me feel like the city's alive and that, you know, people want to be here. And it makes me, I don't know, it makes me just feel more lively. I don't know, that makes no sense to some people probably, but I don't know, to some people it makes sense. But like a lot of times I just come out here and, you know, sit and think to myself, um, and I just think, for hours and hours and just think about life and, and how far I've came and how and how much I've accomplished. And you know, my sh I'm only what, 22 right now. And you know, a lot of guys my age don't have what I have. And I'm not trying to like say anything to brag or anything. It's not like a bragging thing. It's just when you work so hard trying to like accomplish things and then you finally start having things happen for you like in a positive way, you just can't help but talk about it in a positive way to other people because you know, it's just, you work so hard for these things. So, you know, just to be here, they, I mean, to be, I mean, look at the cities behind me. To be here, it's just a dream come true. And I just, I'm so happy that you guys are here for the journey, honestly, you know. It's, it's, uh, I'm very thankful. Oh, bro, I forgot. It broke in the last video, I forgot. Yeah, that freaking sucks, fuck. Ah. Number one, welcome to my humble abode. Um, it's very peaceful today, you know, 
Nothing really crazy is happening. Don't mind the mess on the bed. <gasps> you know, one thing about adulting is that, that you have to do everything on your own. So, you know, I was just lazy and I didn't feel like doing the laundry. And so, here it is. So right now I have 1,606 subscribers, which isn't a lot, but for me, of course, we all do it for this, you know, for the subs, you know, views, whatever. But honestly, I don't really do it for the subscribers, you know, I don't do it for like the fame, the attention. I only care for that, you know. I started YouTube, honestly, because I just enjoy making videos. From as early as I can remember, um, I've always just been a creative. I've always wanted to create something personal from my from my own experiences or whatever. I don't know, it's just something innate in me that I guess I was born with. Because I always get people asking like, Ty, what makes you so disciplined? How do you like stay consistent so long on YouTube? How do you like still just make videos without getting that many views without blowing up yet? And I've always just, you know, just think to myself like, for me, I'm not, it's not, to me, I literally just genuinely just enjoy making videos. And if 10 people enjoy it, for me, that's good enough, you know. If 10 people genuinely say, Ty, this is like a video that helped me or this type of feeling, I feel good, or you may remember this good memory I had. For me, that's enough, you know. 10, like I said, ten, even one person, for me, that's good enough. But, you know, of course, like I said, we all do want to grow. I do want my I do want my art to be, you know, shown to like, mo like more people because at the end of the day, it, does, it would help, you know, with income-wise because we're gonna get into that. And also would help with, you know, just, my own fulfillment, you know, because it does fulfill me to make these videos, but I can't imagine the amount of fulfillment I would get from not just like me making a video, but like millions or hundreds of thousands or whatever, and they're taking it in and enjoying it and giving positive feedback. For me, I can't even imagine how much euphoria, euphoria I would feel from, that's to me, that's, oh my God, I couldn't imagine. I get a com like, comment like this um, from a guy named Dylan. I saw you in Brooklyn the other day on the one wheel, smiley face. Um, another guy, Sha, his name is Shaq. I'm gonna be like this soon in my dream apartment in Miami, Florida, making inspirational videos like this, along with entertaining videos. Um, a guy named Honor, he said the grind don't stop. And it's not just comments I get, you know, I also get DMs from you guys, uh, you know, just either telling me your story or telling me your dreams or your inspirations or telling me that I've inspired you in some way. And all that is just, to me, it's just, I can't believe I've even gotten this far on this platform. Like for me, when I first started YouTube, of course, you know, we all are, delu not even not even delusion, but we all have a dream. Oh, I'm gonna be like number one. I'm gonna be this huge YouTuber one day. I'm gonna do this and that. But to like actually start, you know, seeing that come alive in reality and like your own like life is something different. Like I'm actually getting DMs from like, ra like random people that I don't know, never met, telling me that I've inspired them. I've done this or I've just, I don't know, just, and, and affected them in any kind of way. To me, that's just crazy that I've done that, like me. To me, because I'm just, I've always just felt like me. I'm always, well, taking I am still me, but to other people, I'm like, Ty, I'm the guy. Like, oh my God, you inspired me. I came, I wanted to be like that one day. And to me, that's just crazy, you know? You know, I mentioned before that I wouldn't be here without YouTube. The reason I even moved out to Miami in the first place was because of YouTube. Because ever since a kid, I've always had a dream. 16, 17, 18 is when like, I really realized that I really fell in love with the aspect of film. When I was around 11 is when I created my first YouTube account. I still have nightmares about that account because, you know, at that point, you're, bro, you're a kid, you have no idea what you're doing, and you don't realize things on the internet last forever so i made some cringy ass videos that you know i'm not gonna say i regret it because i don't regret anything i've ever done but you know if i could take it back no i'll leave it no i no i'll take it away that's that's no benefit that that was no benefit i got from that i'll take it away <laughs> but you know i dig a bully for that channel because at that age i was still in middle school i think kids in middle school are fucking vicious bro it's crazy because i don't know I don't know what it is in middle school. You always gotta have the leg up on the next guy. So, of course, me being one short, had bad hair, had braces, acne everywhere. And I'm gonna add the fact that I have a YouTube channel on top of that. Yeah, it just didn't work out for you boys. So, I got bullied pretty bad for that YouTube channel. Um, I think it was called RPD Daily Gaming Videos or Daily Cod Videos. 
daily something something daily something I, I think i changed the name like four times because when they kept, they kept finding my name i think i changed it to try to hide the fact i don't know but you know that taught me a lesson i shouldn't care what nobody else need because i can't imagine where that channel could have been now if i would have never gave up because i started that one up to 11 i'm 22 now imagine going from 11 to 22 that's 11 years 11 to 22 consistently or just pursuing my dream here and there where that channel could be because I started my new channel which is this one in 2020 I think I don't remember for sure but I think I started in 2020 2020 2020 and you know three years later here you are about to hit 2k subscribers and I got most of these subs in under a year which is the craziest part so I couldn't imagine what the other channel could have been if I would have never gave it up because of bullying or whatever but you know we all learn lessons at the end of the day but you know it is nice to be able to finally sit here in my downtown, in my apartment. You know, I say that because, and I keep saying that, you know, a lot of guys probably get like, why do they keep saying downtown? Like, oh, shut up about these break. No, like, bro, you gotta realize, like I said before, bro, getting to a, like, getting to this point after going through so much struggle and turmoil, pushbacks and drawbacks and setbacks and this back, it's like so nice to finally get to this point. And even though I'm not where I need to be, I know that I still got so much farther I gotta go. I can't imagine how I'm gonna feel when I have everything I've ever wanted. That's gonna be, crazy but to even to get to this point because a lot of people quit before they get to this point it is nice to be able to just really just say where i'm at in my life because it just it for me it it actually like solidifies it in some way like i don't know like i have a thousand plus subscribers on youtube what that's like what like when you actually say like yo that's like that's me what it's crazy i think like less than 10 percent of people have 10 uh, over a thousand subscribers, which is crazy. I think I looked that stat up, or maybe like less than thirty percent. Which so I'm in like the top tenth percentile of YouTubers. That's crazy, bro. And I feel like I just I'm so small still, which I am. Like I can't. Like oh my god, it's, I don't know so much. Yo, it's always empty. That's tough. I'm not gonna lie. Like I really don't feel like eating. Piece of pizza right now. I really don't want this right now. Is this the reality of? Let me close my fridge before it goes off. Is this the reality of living on your own, bro? I always broke, no money. At the end of the month, every time at the end of the month when rent is due, it's always like, well, I guess we're not gonna have any money for the next two weeks. Like that's not. Is that just a part of life? Like is that a part of adult adulting? Nobody told me about because I've always like heard of other people. Oh, my parents, it's the end of the month, what are we gonna do? And I never understood until I finally moved out and realized, oh shit, it's the end of the month, what am I gonna do? I don't know, I guess a little small part of adulting. They can take this part back, I promise. This part sucks. Bon appetit. Da da dum 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 da da d